What is happening, guys? I'm Eric Stylo, one half of Stylo Ken. You are watching Kessel Rant. This is going to be a solo review slash reaction to the last couple Mandalorian episodes. We're looking at episode 5, titled The Gunslinger, and uh, episode 6, or chapter 6, if you will, titled The Prisoner. So let's just jump right in here. The fifth episode, which is The Gunslinger, I'm going to go ahead and say it is my least favorite episode of the series. And that's not to say I didn't like it. But I definitely didn't love it that much. Episode 4, I know I said something similar about, but I watched that episode again with some friends and it really grew on me quite quickly. To the point where I quite enjoy that episode. This one I'm not sure will grow on me quite so quickly. I'm definitely going to watch it again. I'm not sure exactly when I'll get a chance to with The Rise of Skywalker coming up. But I will watch it again. There are a couple things that I do want to pick out. To start off, let's talk about the cast here. We have Amy Sedaris in this, who is a pretty well-known comedic actress, and I do like her in some things. Didn't love how she was used in this, which of course is no fault of hers. Her character is the mechanic, and there were a couple amusing moments with her, but I thought overall it was kind of cheesy how she was used. And, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It was kind of cool that the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda ended up on Tatooine, they ended up in Mos Eisley, and... It also was kind of cool that the Mando, if you want to call him that, ended up at the Cantina, which is where he meets Toro. Now, this is a character I did not like. I did not like the acting. I did not like the way he was written. I didn't like the way he was used pretty much the entire episode. This was the first character I really did not feel too good about. And, of course, as it would figure, he's a big part of this episode. He has this job that he wants Mandalorian to help him with so that he can join the guild. He basically has to capture this person who is played by Ming-Na Wen, who is famous for her role in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I think she's great. I think she's awesome in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was really excited when I found out she was going to be a part of the show. Now, when I found out how small a part she was going to play in this show, I wasn't too thrilled about that. They do catch her eventually after a little bit of a struggle. And then when she talks this Toro character into betraying Mando while Mando's gone, uh, Toro ends up killing her. Now, I really hope that's not permanent. I really hope that she comes back somehow. It looked like she was pretty dead, though. The only thing that gives me hope is the mysterious boots that walk up to her. We don't know who this person is, this figure is. Some people are hoping that it's Boba Fett or something like that. I kind of have my doubts there. But maybe it's someone who has some sort of uh, power. Who knows, honestly. Be nice to see her character again, but maybe it was just a quick cameo. She just wanted to be a quick part of the show, and that's going to be that. It's too bad because... Again, she's so awesome in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I was hoping to see her really kick some ass in the show. And we're not going to see that, it looks like. All right. Overall, the episode didn't really go anywhere particularly interesting to me. I'm okay with them having some side questy type episodes. I'm okay with it feeling episodic. I'm okay with that. I guess I just didn't really love the characters in it that much and the way it was written. And It was, it was written and directed by Dave Filoni and... I don't know, it just it didn't hit me like the other episodes did. Now, I'm going to jump ahead to the sixth episode now, which I enjoyed quite a bit more, and I wasn't sure at first. So that episode, entitled The Prisoner, we start off and it's kind of cheesy at first. When they introduce this team of scumbags, basically, because what ends up happening is Mandalorian goes back to an old team he used to work for. And kind of the head, I guess, of that team is this Ranzar character who's played by Mark Boone Jr., who I really liked from Sons of Anarchy, Batman Begins, etc., etc. Great actor. And so he's going to help them out with a job. And so he ends up joining with this group of scummy type people, you know, played by some interesting actors and actresses. Uh, for instance, you have Natalia Tena, who's in this, and she was in the Harry Potter films, she was in Game of Thrones, she's been in some really cool series, and I didn't love her character that much, but I'm sure we're going to see her again in the future, so maybe she'll grow on me. And then we have Bill Burr, who was in this, which is interesting, you know, he plays this Mayfield character. He was pretty much himself. He pretty much played himself, and I was okay with it. At first, I was, it kind of threw me for a loop, but then as the episode progressed and I kind of saw how he was utilized, I came to really enjoy it. I, I really came to enjoy a lot of these characters a lot more than I thought I was going to a few minutes into the episode. And the episode itself was quite fun. They basically go in trying to break out Natalia Tennis character's brother, who is in this prison. And they do that, and then they turn their backs on Mando and throw him into the prison. Eventually he gets out, and then he kind of hunts them. And that whole scene is really fun. 
it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Batman Begins when he first becomes Batman and he starts picking off these criminals one by one. I mean, that had a little more of a horror type vibe to it than this did, but you know, they kind of found a more fun way to do it here. And they made it seem like he was killing these characters, but in fact, he was just throwing them all into the cell. So they're still alive, which is kind of cool. Since I've come to kind of like this group of scumbags for the most part, It'll be interesting to see if they show up again either towards the end of this season or maybe sometime next season and they try to get their revenge on the Mandalorian. I think that'd be really interesting. There wasn't a lot I didn't like about this episode. I thought it was fun. I thought it was to the point. I thought it did a little bit to kind of give you some more background on the Mandalorian character as well. For instance, the fact that he works or he used to work with this group of scumbags back in the day. So he's got kind of a shady past, which I guess makes sense since he is a bounty hunter. Like I said, overall, I had a fun time. Still felt a little bit side questy. Still felt a little bit like an episode that, you know, like a Monster of the Week, Adventure of the Week kind of episode. But I didn't mind it. And we still have a couple more episodes coming up, including one next week on Wednesday to see if we can kind of progress the overall story arc a little bit more. So I was fine with it. Now, as far as the next episode is concerned, it does come out the day before the Rise of Skywalker. So I'm not sure I'm going to do a video about that one quite yet. It may wait till the weekend. I'm not seeing the Rise of Skywalker until Saturday, and the world premiere takes place on Tuesday. So I'm planning to shut down my internet usage because I know what happened when The Last Jedi had its world premiere. The spoilers came out. They came out, and I was spoiled as far as the death of Snoke and a couple other things that I didn't want to know going into that movie. And it was because someone posted it on Facebook after the world premiere. It wasn't even out in theaters yet. So you got to be careful out there, guys. And it coming out on Wednesday, the Mandalorian episode, I mean, it really has to do with the fact that the Rise of Skywalker is coming out. They don't want to have these two things competing with each other. It's going to be a fun week. We get to watch the Mandalorian on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, for all you lucky folks who get to see it on opening day, you'll get to check out the Rise of Skywalker. So... It's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. So what would you think of these two episodes? Did you think they were pretty good? Did you think they were great? I will say I liked the sixth one a lot. Fifth one, not so much. I think I still like the first three the most, but six definitely is fun. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below, and we will catch you guys next time.